Hi, this is Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space. Going to run you guys through a bit of a preview of what I plan to do for the site this week. Also give you some heads up on cool spacey events that are going down. First of all, this is Falcon 1, which is Elon Musk's privately funded, privately built, privately launched spacecraft that successfully made it, fourth time is a charm, into space uh, yesterday, which is Sunday, September 28th. So high five to Elon. Uh, Irene Klotz sat down with Elon for a Q&A session. I'll have that up for you guys in a little bit here. Also, uh, Opportunity Rover, which is roving Mars since 2004, is going to start booking it toward a crater 20 times bigger than the one it's at. It's going to have to travel seven and a half miles to get there, which is the same amount of distance it's traveled since it's been on the red planet. If you ever wondered about space art, where it comes from, who makes it, I sat down with Bill Hartman who made this image, which is the solar system by the way, and we chatted about what he draws his inspirations from, uh, why he does the stuff that he does, and how much he makes. So uh, you can check that IM interview out tomorrow, which is Tuesday, September 30th. On Wednesday, happy birthday NASA! It's the 50th anniversary for the space agency, uh, 1958 the National Aeronautics and Space Act signed NASA into existence, so uh, have a piece of birthday cake for NASA. On Thursday, October 2nd, I'm going to have a little op-ed piece from Ben Shalef, who is the CEO of the SpaceWord Foundation, and he believes something like this is possible. This is a space elevator. So you find an asteroid, you strap it to the Earth, and then you send up a little gizmo that transports things into space. Ben thinks it's possible. He's going to tell us why, tell us how, and tell us when this is going to happen. Also, uh, if you guys follow the Cassini spacecraft and all it does around Saturn, it's going to fly by Tethys, which is another one of Saturn's icy moons. Uh, in fact, scientists think it's mostly made of ice, so that's kind of cool. And it's going to be flying by on Thursday, so be sure and check Discovery Space for updates about that. Friday, October 3rd, make sure you look out your window. If you see this, you got a problem. Hopefully you won't though, asteroid 2002 GM5 is going to make a pretty close past Earth, about a million miles. That's four times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. Uh, shouldn't be a problem, but cross your fingers anyway. Also I got a space photo quiz coming at you from Lowell Observatory and Star Tales, so you can look forward to that on Friday. And finally I'm going to post a video wrap up of everything else that happened in space this week, so be sure to check back soon.